Hello, I'm Catherine. Please call me Kate. This is lesson three of English Basics. Today, we will practice using a laptop computer and typing correctly. So first, in part one, let's look at a computer keyboard. You have a copy, a paper copy, like this in your binder. So pause the video and find this paper co copy. Good. All right. So let's look at the rows of your computer keyboard. You have a top row and each row is just, we're going to talk about 10 keys. 10 keys, the same as 10 fingers on your hand, okay? So in the first row, the top row, it's called the number row, and it has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. So those are 10 keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? And you can type any number. So if you need 30, you need three and zero, okay? The next row is called your top row and you, you're, you're going to find 10 keys again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Those, that's your top row. Your middle row is called your home row. And here are your 10 keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. And it's called the home row because your hands always stay, come back to the home row. And then you have the bottom row and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you have on the bottom, you have the space bar. So let's just listen and repeat the rows, okay? So number row, top row, home row, and bottom row. All right, to practice the keyboard, I will give you four instructions. You will need the colors red, blue, green, and purple in crayon or colored pencils. So pause the video to find those colors, red, green, blue, and purple. Good ready for instructions number one instruction find the number nine on your keyboard and color it green find the number nine on your keyboard and color it green number two Find the home row on your keyboard and color each key, each of the 10 keys of the home row blue. Find the home row on your keyboard and color each key blue. Number three, find the shift keys, there are two shift keys. Color them red. Find the two shift keys and color them red. Last instruction, find the space bar and color it purple. Find the space bar and color it purple. So your final 
your final keyboard, colored keyboard, should look like this. So you have number nine, green. You have 10 keys of the home row colored blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have the two shift keys in red, and you have the space bar in purple. Now we're going to look at our hand. So this is my this is my right hand. You have your thumb, your index finger, your third finger, your fourth finger, and your little finger. Same on your left hand, your little finger, your fourth finger, your third finger, your index finger, and your thumb. So say it with me. Little finger, little finger, little finger, fourth finger, third finger, index finger, and thumb. Okay, again, little finger, I'll do it this way, little finger, little finger, fourth finger, third finger, index finger, and thumb. So what you will do is let's take the right hand first. You will put four fingers on the right side, okay? So your index finger is J, your third finger is K, your fourth finger is L, and your little finger is colon and semicolon. On your right hand, your little finger is A, then your fourth finger is F, then your third finger is D, and your index finger is F. Your thumb is for the space bar. Okay. So it kind of looks like this space bar. And over here, it looks like this space bar for your thumb. All right. So the next step is to practice typing. We have to do pretend typing on our paper copy. So let's practice my name. It's capital K. A T E. So you're going to need to shift K, shift with your little finger. Don't do caps lock. Shift with your little finger, do K, and back to home row. Then on your left hand, type A, then go up to T with your index finger and back down up to E, back down. Okay, again, shift K, then A, then up to T, then E. Okay, now pause the video and practice your first name. Don't forget shift capital for the first letter of your name. Good. So in part two of this lesson, you will need your student guidebook, page seven, to practice more with your teacher. I hope you can type correctly with two hands now. See you in the next lesson. Goodbye. Should be good.